how to install the iOS 10 public beta on your eligible iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. What is up guys, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the iOS 10 public beta on your iOS device. Just go to beta.apple.com in your Safari browser and then scroll down and tap the sign up button and then log in with your Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, create one from the same page. And once you're logged in, you can tap the iOS button, although it should already be selected, and then scroll down, and then you will see this link right here, enroll your iOS device. So you wanna tap the enroll your iOS device link right there, and then scroll down a little bit. Apple's going to recommend that you archive your iOS backup via iTunes, you can do that. And then you can tap the download profile button right below. So once you tap that, it's gonna open up the install profile page. From there, just tap the install button in the upper right hand corner. You'll get some consent text, tap install again, and then tap the install button at the bottom of the screen. Now just tap restart. All right, so our iOS device is gonna restart. I'm gonna speed all this process up because otherwise you'd be waiting on it to reboot and then you would be waiting even longer on the install process. So I wanna get through this so you can see the actual steps involved. All right, so you're gonna be at your Apple logo as the device reboots. And once we reboot, we're gonna head over to the general section of the settings app. So we should be rebooting here momentarily. Here we go. All right, so we can just unlock our device. Okay, and then just tap the settings app and then tap where it says general. And you can scroll down just to verify that the profile has been installed. It has been. Not a necessary step. You can go back there, scroll back up, tap software update, and here you go. It's going to check for update, and there you go, the iOS 10 public beta one. So now we just tap download and install to begin the process, and then tap agree in the bottom right hand corner. And this will start the update from 9.3.2, which I'm currently running, to iOS 10 public beta one, which is actually equivalent to iOS 10 developer preview seed two. So. All of the features that developers have been able to enjoy on iOS 10 beta 2, you're gonna be able to experience on iOS 10 public beta 1. So it's asking me to plug my device in now because it's low on power, less than 50%. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and make sure that's plugged in. There we go. And now I can just tap where it says install now. So I'll do that. Verify and update. And again, I've, I'm going to speed this whole portion up so you're not waiting on the loading screen because otherwise you would be here 15 minutes or so. And I value your time, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. I've sped this up several times over in uh, hopes to get through this portion. It's kind of a boring portion of the install process and upgrade process. So we are almost completed. Again, it's gonna take much longer on your device. So just be patient as this loading bar goes across the screen and eventually you'll see this. So just tap continue and then you can go through the whole setup process. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But as you can see, now we're on iOS 10 public beta one. You can see the new home app right there on the home screen. Even though it's using the same wallpaper, we can change that wallpaper over to the iOS 10 wallpaper just by going into settings, going into where it says wallpaper <laughs> and then uh, tapping choose a new wallpaper and then tapping not our dynamic, but you wanna tap our stills and scroll all the way down. You're gonna see in the bottom left hand corner, the iOS 10 wallpaper. So we'll just set that to both right there. But more importantly, let's just double check to make sure that we're on iOS 10. Just to verify here, go to general, go to about, and there you can see it, iOS 10.0. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you update to the iOS 10 public beta one. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.